Hello, this is Robert. I'm a tax attorney here at TRP, and we're going over finding out how much you owe the IRS. Easy methods to figure out your balance. The easiest ways to find out how much you owe the IRS are by mail, phone call, or checking online. We will explain these options further and how to do each one. The IRS offers an online tool to help you figure out how much tax you owe. The online tool is probably the best method if all your data is available and you can get through the verification. The tool shows the balance for each tax year, including the principal amount and any penalties or interest. It also shows payments you've made in the last 18 months and your payoff amount. And we'll have a link to the online tool below. To use this service, you need to have an account in the IRS website. Make sure that you have the following information ready when signing up. Social security number, date of birth, filing status, mailing address from your last tax return, email address, mobile phone with your name on the account, and an account number from a mortgage or home equity loan, a car loan, or a credit card, that also needs to be in your name. And the issue with the online tool is sometimes people don't have all this or something doesn't verify and they don't get through. So if that's the case, you know, go on to the other methods. The great thing about the online tool is that it updates interest and penalties every 24 hours, which makes the data reliable. You can also view or print transcripts here on the system. If you'd like to request the transcript to be mailed to you, it takes five to 10 days most of the time. Payments may usually take one to three weeks to post. The tools available during the following days and times, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. Eastern, Saturday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, and Sunday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern. If you're unsure which years you owe, order back as far as the system allows. Sometimes a mail-in request, as mentioned below, is required for records that are older than 10 years. And not really below, it's going to be mentioned in the next slides. You can also call the IRS directly to inquire how much you owe. This is one of the other easy ways to do it. Individual taxpayers, you can call 800-829-1040. If you know your cases and collections, you can actually also call 800-829-7650. Again, that's 800-829-7650. Lines are open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. For businesses, you're going to call 800-829-1240. Again, 800-829-1240. Also open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that's based on your local time. That's not Eastern time. That's based on your local time. Remember that it might take some time on the queue before you can speak with an agent. You know, it might just get stuck sitting on a hold there. You know, the way we do your case, we actually have a program that puts you to the front of the line so we don't have to wait as long. And actually that saves clients a lot of money as well. So you can find out how much you owe by checking previously mailed notices. If you have already received a notice from the IRS, you can check your balance from the notice that they mailed you. This is our least recommended method if you owe several years because you might miss a notice since they send a lot of them. The notice should state the amount due plus interest and penalties that apply. You should also take note that the notice the IRS mails out often covers one year of taxes owed. So if you owe a couple of years, then you should add the amounts indicated per notice they mailed out to you. Um, you know, it, it ends up just being a lot of paperwork sometimes when you have all these different notices trying to figure it out. If you think the IRS missed mailing you a notice for a tax year or two, maybe a move, something like that, then it's best to make sure how much you, you know, they're asked by calling them. You know, you can call the number that they included in the notice. Um, you can also often just call 800-829-7650, 800-829-1040, and just call and find out for sure. Because trying to piece together all these notices, I've had people that call. So like, oh, I think I owe like $30,000. And, you know, we don't charge people based on how much they owe, like a lot of firms do. So we'll call in and find out they owe $112,000, $115,000. And it's like, well, where did it, I had my notice. Well, the notices just don't show like all the information. If you get a lien showing all the years that have a lien on it, that might have all your balances. But otherwise, you're generally not getting all your balances in that one notice. So this is usually used for old records, and some people do this if you want to. Um, the only downside of this method is you can only request four at a time. So use mail and IRS form 4506T to get your balances. And using and by four at a time, I mean for four per form. So you have to do another form if you're requesting more records. So the IRS website also shows other ways in finding out how much you owe depending on your situation. If you're a business or an individual who filed a form other than 1040, you can obtain a transcript by submitting form 4506T, request for transcript of tax return. So if you have some other type of non-1040 form, you can use this, but you can also use this to get 1040 forms. It's just not the most recommended method. The other methods are better. It's better to call in, and this takes a while, okay? When you're doing this, though, and if you're doing it for 1040 forms, I recommend check the record of account box. This contains both a copy of the tax return and all balance due information. Form 4506T only allows you to request four records at a time. For some old records, this is the only way to request them. And even then, they may not have some of it. Um, technically, just ordering an account transcript will have balance dues, 
but the record of account has more info. If you're going to order it anyway, you might as well just order the complete info just in case you need it later. You don't have to contact them again. Okay, now that I know how much I owe, how do I resolve it? Okay, the next step after finding out how much you owe to the IRS is to resolve it. You might be paying in full, which is easy. You know, if you're paying in full, you probably want to do a first-time penalty abatement if you qualify. Uh, we'll have a link to that below as well. Uh, in many cases, it might be difficult to pay the amount in full, and you may want to look at payment plans, offer compromise, and currently not collectible status. So those are three options. You know, if you're barely making it financially and you really don't have any assets, offer and compromise is a very good thing. Even if you have a lot of kids and you're doing okay, sometimes you also get an offer and compromise. Currently non-collectible, you know, we get that in some cases, but usually that's when you have assets, but otherwise you would get a settlement. So a lot of cases, you know, if you already qualify for currently non-collectible, there's a very good chance you're going to get offer and compromise already. And there's a lot of cases where people call the IRS and the IRS will just put it in non-collectible and not really mention offer and compromise. And, you know, they sit in that and people don't know. And you don't want to do non-collectible and then wait to make more money to do an offer and compromise. That usually is not the best strategy. You just want to get it out. Uh, we do recommend consulting with the tax attorney before making any of the below decisions, you know, unless you can already pay it off easily. And we actually mean the decisions discussed in this video. We just adapted this from our blog post. That's why it says below. So to summarize, if you know you have unpaid taxes, you can find out how much you owe the IRS with different methods. The IRS online tool is already a convenient way in getting information you need on back taxes. There are also some different payment options available and tax debt settlement options if you think what you owe is something you can't pay back. If you find yourself in situations where you think you need help in resolving your tax debt, contact us. You can give us a call at 888-515-4TAX. That's 888-515-4829. Or visit our contact page and there will be a link to that below. This is uh, Robert from Tax Resolution Professionals, and thanks for watching, and have a great week.